Number 10. To set a speed record in a measured straight line distance D, a race car must be driven first in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Letter A. To eliminate the effects of the wind and obtain the car's speed in a windless situation, should we find the average of D over T1 and D over T2, method 1, or should we divide D by the average of T1 and T2? Letter B. What is the fractional difference in the two methods when, this, when a stead wind blows along the car's route and the ratio of the wind speed VW to the car's speed VC is 0.024? Okay, so let's make a little draw over here. So let's say that this is our car. So this is our car. And let's suppose that in the first part of the movement, the wind blows in the direction of the movement. Let's call the speed of the wind VW and the speed of the car VC. So we have an effective speed. Let's call it VE, which is equal in the first case to VW over uh, S plus, not over plus. VC. So that's the effective speed, the speed of the wind plus the, the, the speed of the car. In the second part of the movement, let's call VE1, right? VE1. VE1. In the second part of the movement, so the car is going the opposite direction, and now the wind blows in the opposite direction, right? The wind blows in opposition of the car movement. So in the second case, the effective speed, let's call it VE2, is equal to the speed of the car minus the speed of the wind. Okay, so that's what we have first. So let's remember that delta V is equal to delta X over delta T. So we can try to find the, the, the so we, we can rewrite this equation over here, right? So we can rewrite this equation like this. The V effective one is equal to delta X, which in this case is D over T1. And the effective speed two is equal to T over T2, right? So we want to eliminate the speed of the wind. So let's rewrite by replacing VE1 by VW plus VC. So this equation can be written as VW plus VC, which is equal to D over T1. And this equation is VC minus VW equals to D over T2. So we want that the wind speed is gone. So what we can do, we can sum this equation with this equation over here. We can sum both equations and then we would find VW plus VC plus VC minus VW, which is equal to D over T1 plus D over T2. So this cross out with this. So two times VC, the, the speed of the car is equal to, to D over T1 plus D over T2, right? That's it, right, okay. So if we want to find the velocity, the speed of the car, so the speed of the car is equal to one over two, d over t1 plus d over t2 and this is exactly the method one so method one is the, if we use the method one we can find the speed of the car without considering the wind so that's the answer that we want we want the speed of the car so method one is the correct one so we should use method one because the answer, when we calculate the speed of the car, we find exactly method one. So if we want to use method two, so for letter, that's the answer of letter A. Letter A is method one. Because what we have done here, we have calculated this, the speed of the car without the wind. 
and the speed of the car is exactly what we find when we use method 1 that's the answer of letter A for letter B we have to calculate the speed using method 2 so that's what we are going to do here so for method 2 it says that we should divide the D by the average of T1 and T2 so the speed using method 2 let's call it V2 is equal to T over T1 plus T2 over 2 right so this is what method 2 tells us to do we can replace T1 and T2 using these equations over here that we just found for example T1 in this case T1 is equal to D over the speed of the wind plus the speed of the car right so this would give us D over D over VW plus VC plus T2 T2 is just the we can isolate T2 using this equation over here so it would gives us T2 is equal to D over VC minus VW so it would be D over VC minus VW and we have to divide this by 2 so this is equal to 2 times D so we can send this 1 over 2 to the upper part of the equation this would be equal to D over VW plus VC plus D over VC minus VW we can cross the D's over here so this would be equal to 2 over 1 over VW plus VC plus 1 over VC minus VW so we can multiply in cross over here so we can send this to this this and this so that's what we are going to do so we find 2 over VC minus VW plus VW plus VC over VW plus VC which multiplies VC minus VW so we can cross this out so this gives us let's see gives us 2 over 2 times VC over the, uh, let's, see, let's see what we have here we have V C is squared minus V W squared and this is equal to 2 times V C squared minus V W is squared over 2 times V C so this is the final answer already I guess oh no we can cross out the choose over here so that's the final answer over here so this is V2 so you can see that using method 2 the, the the speed that we can calculate takes account takes in account the speed of the wind so we cannot eliminate the speed of the wind using method 2 so but the, 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 the thing that we have to calculate here is the fractional difference between the two methods so we have to divide one method by the other one so the first method gives us VC right so what we are going to do is just we use the first method to calculate VC and then let's call this this VC this VC2 so minus VC2 over VC so this gives us VC minus VC squared plus VW squared over VC divided by VC so this gives us 1 minus 
1 plus vw squared over vc squared and this is equal to vw squared over vc squared which is equal to 0 0.024 squared and which gives us 5.76 times 10 to the minus 4 so that's the answer of letter B